Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makoto Man at YouTube with a, another model video. Today we're going to be working on another resin garage kit by E2046 of Erica Hartman from Strike Witches. Original Japanese cast by Grizzly Panda. This was a later release I picked up with the iDecals quality card and current system of package and sorting of parts. E2046 is the current standard in resin recast garage kits. I enjoy these products due to the availability of models, the packaging and Swiss dispatch with affordable prices. Normally water slide decals for eyes are provided not pre-cut. You get instructions how to go about utilizing them plus instructions or a layout of parts. Resin can be very fragile and difficult to cast. Everything is in a very soft white resin, very well packaged in bubble wrap and plastic. Nothing has snapped on me before. Detail is crisp enough, though assembly is according to the original quality of the sculpt and design. Casting would be done with a fairly modern pressure pot and issues such as misaligned molds and air bubbles is not prevalent in these current offerings. The detailing would be very close to the original run as all the body detail panels and sharp tips are fairly sharp and well defined. Nubs are fairly appropriate placed and very easy easy to clean up with cheaper heavy duty nippers. Laying down small parts count and easy block connecting joints, I would rate this as a excellent beginner friendly kit, very small, very cheap. Straight off the bat, liquid resin poured in a mold is a very sticky and adhesive substance. It will bind and not crack open. A product called Release Agent is used for easily opening and pumping out the parts in the manufacturing process. This may be a lubricant, oil or grease. This will have a residue left on the part that needs to be cleaned off. The standard dishwashing detergent degree or even bleach or brake fluid will do the job. Uh, clean in soapy water a few times, allow it to soak to get to the detail, air or dab dry and you're ready for building. I'm not one to go out and buy a special product where anything at home will do. The solid cleanup process is not dissimilar to plastic scale modeling. You have large sprue points where the liquid pours in and needs to be cleaned up. Your standard modeling tools will suffice, though I wouldn't use any finer precision tools like your god hand or special nippers. Just some wire cutters, pliers, hobby saw, knife and a series of sandpapers. Uh, do keep in mind that resin in liquid form is very toxic and can still be carcinogenic in its solid form. Use wet sanding method by submerging the part under water and sanding or wetting the sandpaper. It can also be a bit disorientating what part to remove or not and I like to colour in the nub with a black sharpie or a little bit of paint. Uh, clip away uh, as far away from the surface as possible, trim the excess with a knife and proceed to sand through a series of grit sandpaper. I like to start around the 2300 grit and work my way to 1000 grit. I also like to sand the entire surface for greater adhesion with primer and paint. Resin is also incredibly heavy and adhesion may not support the parts when stuck together. You need to drill holes between the two parts and stick a rod or metal wire in between to hold it together for assembly. It also doubles up by using alligator clips and holding the parts away from your hand for painting. I'm applying a test piece of primer to see if there's any imperfections and if fish eye appears from any leftover release agent or fault. Uh, there also may be bad adhesion due to the smoothness of the resin or release agent and I like to do a bit of a buff with a high grit sandpaper and recarve any detail and open any panels. 
Google and YouTube is rich in reference material from fan art to official imagery and shots from the show. Erica is a fairly pale girl with blonde hair and a school swimsuit, which uh, will require a range of colours in achieving these tones. I've decided to paint the ball as a watermelon for some reason. The hair was a base of prime yellow and mixed around with sand and a military dirt color uh, highlights of a dark brown everything is obviously airbrushed in lacquers with three tones of color whatever i choose straight on top of the primer was a base coat of automotive white flesh is challenging but easier with the more tools and colors you have at your disposal and mixing mr color character flesh is tan and guy note flesh i was able to build up enough blush warmth to give it character yet still make it pale without digging into white and nothing too weird again very easy kit with just flesh blue and the hair color separated appropriately the face did need some neat hand painting with the mouth tongue eyes and eyebrows the size could be a bit tricky but with provided eye decals this was easily soaked in water and transferred without issues don't forget to seal with a top coat to protect as good as the color separation is designed there is a slight flaw with the swimsuit showing a bit of the knack and backline nothing a bit of blue tack or a better liquid mask can't fix the sculpt of the bathing suit is very fun with over exaggerated details around the folds uh, midriff and breasts you could have a lot of fun with hand painting but with directional shading and countersinking with a wash we managed to get the detail we desired allowing all that to dry and harden each component was given a top coat of matte clear to dull down any gloss to prevent chip damage fingerprint or issues a full week was allowed for the model to fully dry and chemically harden then glued together the figure is very small and simplistic the show also depicts the character to have a larger than life personality with some unusual traits and tics reoccurringly the show will show her living quarters as being extremely chaotic and messy in this castle like room a crooked bed fence and a mass build up of trash and equipment that she sleeps among i designed the diorama in fusion 360 and downloaded a ton of of debris and scaled it for the resin 3d printing the mass diorama was printed via the creality and the five in pla sprayed with filler primer sanded down and airbrushed in many tones all the individual bits and pieces were also laid out in a scene a figure placed down and drawn on the bed to sculpt on more organic detail of sheets and a blanket rolled out of a fine pliver. What was an impulse throwaway idea, the diorama was far more intensive in the build design and paint process, delaying the project quite a bit and taking a lot longer to complete. The effect, however, displays the character in a light that I've not seen in any other merchandise uh, build or paint job. This concludes the resin garage kit figure build of Erica Hartman from Strike Witches. It was a fairly easy kit, a lot of fun, and something I'm glad to have in my collection. As easy as it was, it was a pretty good practice and method of sharpening my GK skills and pink figure painting abilities it's still not easy to tackle flesh and pinning resin pieces together though without much issue i think i pulled this off without problems whatsoever mixing the diorama all together sort of gives this a lot more personality and showcases a bit more of a, a build that i'll pull off to any other variation or attempt 
on this figure. Uh, this is what made this to be uh, quite fun, especially designing the uh, bed and frame, then downloading and selecting all the bits and pieces. Overall, highly recommend this kit. I'm pretty content and happy with E2046's service and more than happy with the outcome and finish with this build. Thank you very much for watching and as always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. Look at the description section for references and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later.